day to you people. My name is Thomas and I am the doctor. Okay, so maybe not, but whatever. Anyways, good day to you people. My name is Thomas and welcome back to another episode of Game Talk where today we will be talking about the Doctor Who adventure games. Now, let's start with some basic info about Doctor Who. Doctor Who is a British science fiction program um, produced by the um, BBC from 1963 to the present day. The program depicts the adventures of the Doctor, a Time Lord, a time-travelling humanoid alien, as he explores the universe in his TARDIS, a time-travelling spaceship. The exterior appears as a blue British police box, which was a common sight in Britain in 1963 when the series first aired. Along with a succession of companions, the Doctor combats a variety of foes whilst working to save civilians and help people in need. The show has influenced generations of British television professionals, many of whom have grown up watching the series. The programme originally ran from 1963 to 1969, well, 1989, <laughs> sorry about that, because of the viewing rates were, you know, going down. They tried to renew the series by a TV movie in 1996, however it was unsuccessful to attempt the regular production. It was relaunched in 2005 by Russell T. Davis, who was a showrunner and writer for the first five years of its revival, produced by BBC Wales in Cardiff. Doctor Who has also spawned many spin-offs in multiple medias, including Torchwood, The Sarah Jane Adventures, which were both created by Russell T. Davis. There has also been many spoofs and cultural references of the character in other media. Let me um show you a few examples. This is Rugrats, where we can see a toy Dalek, <laughs> a famous enemy of the Doctor. This is from a Pokemon game where a Doctor is quoting a saying from the 10th Doctor, Alon Z. This is, this is Futurama where it looks like that the 4th Doctor is getting into his TARDIS. Finally, this is Gravity Falls where we can see a weeping angel, a very terrifying em enemy of the Doctor. 12 actors has headlined the series of the Doctor, William Hartnell the first, Patrick Charlton the second, John Pertwee the third, Tom Baker the fourth, Peter Davidson the fifth, Connor Baker the sixth, Sylvester McCoy the seventh, Paul McGann the eighth, Christopher Eccleston the ninth, David Tennant the tenth, Matt Smith the eleventh, and the current twelfth Doctor being portrayed by Peter Capaldi. The transition from one actor to another and the differing approaching to the role that they bring is written into the plot of the show shown as regeneration into a new incarnation, a life process of a time lord through which the character of the Doctor takes on a new body to some extent, new personality which occurs after sustaining an injury which would be fatal to most other species. While each actor's portrayal differs, they all intend to be the same aspects of the same character and form a part of the same storyline. The time-travelling nature of the plot means that on occasion, story arcs have involved different Doctors meeting each other, like the three Doctors in 1973, the five Doctors in 1983, and the two Doctors in 1985. Now, here we are the history of the Doctor Who game, you know, the Doctor Who adventure games. The adventure games is a series of third-person adventure games that was only available for the PC, based on the BBC TV series Doctor Who, well, yeah, no shit. And it was developed by Sumo Digital, the creators of Broken Sword, The Angel of Death, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, and Little Big Planet 3. So it sounds like, um, you know, a good thing, right? The Doctor Who Adventure Games would always come out when there was a new episode of Series 5 of Doctor Who. Basically when Matt Smith was the Doctor. So every time a new episode of Matt Smith was shown, uh, they would release a new episode or game of the Doctor Who Adventure Games. What is weird is that they've only released five of the games, four of them for Series 5 and only one of them for Series 6, 
Why did they stop? It was because the BBC who were funding the games decided to make a new type of Doctor Who game called The Eternity Clock, which was for consoles such as the PS3, Xbox 360 or PS Vita. Well, now that we've described the history, it is time to actually look at the game. This game had loads of mixed views from ranging from 2.5 out of 5, from 9.9 9 out of 10. Meaning that this game is in the middle of good and bad, so it's a meh. When I um, played episodes of the game, I liked it that Matt Smith and Kevin Ginnan still brought their brilliant acting skills into the creepy dead models. I mean, look at them. It's like they have no emotion and no soul, just staring deep into your soul, thinking, I wonder what your soul tastes like. What I um, also liked about the games were the interesting storylines, like City of the Daleks, where London is ruled by Daleks in 1963, kinda similar to William Hartnell's episode, The Invasion of the Daleks. And you know me with my AO only series, I like puzzle games. So it should be interesting that they have it in Doctor Who, right? No. Which leads me to the things that, that I dislike about the games. The puzzles are incredibly too easy to solve and they are constantly repeated in the episodes. Again, the character models look dead, the controls are very hard to understand, and most of your tasks of the games are to get items, craft them, bring them to the objective, rinse and repeat, you have the whole gameplay of the episodes. However, unlike me, hardcore fans will love this game, because, you know, I was only 11 when I played the adventure games, and since I was a hardcore Doctor Who fan, it didn't bother me so much. So, I figure out that the adventure games are kind of like extra episodes of the Doctor Who fandom. But personally, in my opinion, I wouldn't really class the adventure games as sort of games, but more like extra episodes for Matt Smith as the Doctor. So, to sum it all up, it's more of a... Um, extra episodes for the game. Sorry for the terrible lag. Hey, your camera shit! Well it's, well, it's not my fault if it just doesn't really want to work with me. I bet that's a heavy comment in the comment section right now. Hey, look, it's actually fixed. Again. But anyways, guys, that ends it for today's episode. Usually, I would find a lot more content. Okay, since my webcam doesn't really want to cooperate with me, I'll just have to use this. Sorry. But anyways, like I said, usually I would have a lot more content to show, but I tried the best I could. I tried to search everything about it, but there's not really much to it. It's just the same process again and again. Each episode I played, it was the exact same thing. Same puzzles, same creepy models. You get the point. But anyways, if you enjoy this episode, why don't you like, comment, favor, and subscribe to see more game talk. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.